So hello everybody. I think there is a there is a problem with SPSS, and some of you wrote me an email that they cannot structure data, or that you cannot calculate uh, your variables, and it looks like this. So I have here the file by Ms. Schwandner and her group. Uh, I want you to look at this attribute name. It's called Verpackung. And uh, now assume that I would like to check whether Verpackung can be coded as something. So I transform, I compute variable, and I would like to create a new one, which is the test variable, and it should equal to one if the attribute one name equals to Verpackung. And I continue, and it doesn't work. See here. You see that the variable is empty, although what I know for sure is that the this attribute one name was in the Frapakong. I don't know why it is the case. I tried many things and I found one which works. I'll show you what you should do. Um, these students they had issue only by attribute names and only by some of those. I assume the reason is encoding that maybe they were coded differently and SPSS does not understand what it is. I tried many things, I show you the solution. I just copy all the attribute names here. So I go to the end of the document and here I copy them. It takes a while because it's a big data file, it's 448 variables and I go to Excel and I just paste them to Excel. Here I copy them again, go to SPSS and I add them somewhere here. So at the end I just put it here, the first line, first variable and I click on Ctrl V so they appear here and I call this variable, it is now attribute one name but we have this variable, that's why I just call it differently. I call it 1A1 name and we check where it works. I now repeat the computing variable procedure. I try to again make the test variable if not the attribute 1 name but the newly inputted variable, the A1 name equals to Verpackung. And then I click on OK, change the existing variable, and let's see where I succeeded the test variable and it equals to one. So it worked. And the reason is why they did it because they had the more complex condition. They had the answer it was Verpackung is the attribute and the attribute option was, if I see correctly, let's see what it was, attribute one was, for example, nicht angegeben, so not available. So I try now to do the different variable and make the variable test two. And the condition is if a one equals to and the attribute choice equals to nicht angegeben. And now I think two runs, so I forgot, so yeah, I forgot the equal sign here. I click on continue and click on OK. And let's see whether the variable occurred. We have the new test two variable. Yes, it worked. So it worked fine. With this copying all to Excel and copying back, it seems to work. And then probably the coding is changed because you enter the text into Excel and from Excel back, and it seems to work. I will post this video by YouTube to you all have access to it. And good luck with your research. Bye bye.